Hey everyone, this is Eric Jackson with Sportico. The New York Islanders finally have a home. It's the 1.5 UBS Arena. We're gonna go check it out. So you'll see that I always tell everyone, show me the event level, and I'll show you the sign of a good building. Because you gotta build from the event level up. So the reason we have giant concourses is we have an we have a an enormous event up downstairs. And it let us build the frame of the building up. So compare this for Islander fans, Nassau Coliseum with one concourse, and that's half the size of this. It's crazy. So you'll see a lot of Islanders in the building, but you'll also see a lot of music in the building. And I'll show you things that we put in the building that we're very driven by making the building acoustically perfect. The UBS Arena is the centerpiece of a $1.5 billion redevelopment at the Belmont Park. So this is Scott inspired. He wanted it to be 1920 Penn Station, Grand Central Station, the New York Library, and the Empire State Building. And we built two, um, we had two local artists do the collage for us. So one kind of celebrates the island and everything good about New York and the island. Um, and then the other one celebrates uh, everything that's unique about Belmont Park and the historic things that happened here at Belmont Park over the, the years. So this is where 80, 85% of our fans come in through this hall and we wanted this to flow into the rest of the building. This building is very vertical. It's, it's designed in a way to get everybody up and down quickly. And that, one of the, the, actually, the single greatest gift we have here Every other arena built in the metro area, so Prudential Garden, Barclays, all around railroad tracks and all around railroad stations. We didn't have to do that. We had a fresh piece of dirt. We had 440 acres here between the parking lot and the arena. So we got to go design this the right way and didn't have to make any compromises. The, the garden, beautiful building, but there's one ramp up and one ramp down, yeah. and you gotta go up four, five stories to get up. We didn't have to do that here, and you'll see at the loading dock, we have the biggest loading dock east of the Mississippi. The Islanders broke merchandise records in their first game in the new venue at their new team store located at the UBS Arena. The UBS Arena has a little less than 19,000 for its concert setup and a, a little over 17 for a hockey game with less seats and more premium areas. And one thing that stands out, you'll see, is the sidelines. Even the upper deck has a solid view, and it uh, speaks to the modern-day design of venues. So we have 4,000 more seats in this building, but the height from the ice to the roof is exactly the same. It's, it's within two feet of the Coliseum. You see the satellites there, and the satellites here, and for the first time ever, we're going to try to test that because we know 5G zaps the system because it's just so much more power that people are trying to put on the system for everything they could pull down. So, pretty cool. The bowl's awesome. And as I told you, built for hockey, right? So we, we absolutely are driven by hockey, but we thought a lot about music. So if you think about stage end, so all of these seats, we press a button, and they stack and they disappear. So they retract back, we put the stage tucked in there that gives us more seats. We have more lower level seats than the other three arenas in the marketplace for concerts because we got to fight to get our fair share. Um, we thought about acoustics, acoustical treatment in the ceiling everywhere. We thought an awful lot about P1s, which are the high end seats. So we have more lower level seats than anybody. And when you see the loading dock, it costs a quarter of a million dollars less for an artist to come produce a show here than the garden because we don't we have eight loading docks and eight staging areas i have 16 semi trucks in my back of house they do one so we could just get artists in here a lot quicker before opening the ubs arena they inked a 20-year naming rights deal with ubs bank about roughly 350 million dollars they hold the naming rights for their most premium area, the UBS Club. That's where fans will see opera style boxes with New York City finishes and a, a nod to New York City bars and um, restaurants and old boutiques. They've gone from over here, I call it the outhouse, to the penthouse right. because if you look at this, it's as nice as anything I've ever seen. And we 
We have a very, very successful team store on the west side of the country with our Climate Pledge Arena, the Kraken store, mm -hmm. and we're, we're just annihilating all records there. I've never seen anything like it.